Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah and I am here for plus size fashion, um, busy mom life, healthy lifestyle. I would say beauty, but you will soon learn I do not know how to do my hair and makeup, so we can check that off the list. Um, but also styling and fashion tips for the over 40 lady. A um, little bit about myself. I have insomnia and I love staying up all night watching YouTube videos and I love watching plus size fashion hauls. And what I was finding was that why there are beautiful, beautiful women out there, plus size women doing these beautiful, these clothing hauls. I was having a hard time finding somebody who represented me. Um, they were either late twenties, early thirties and what their style was just wasn't matching my style. Um, I would love to get on board with crop tops, but it's just not going to happen. Um, so after a while of thinking about it, I thought, you know, I'm going to start my own channel. There's got to be other women out there who feel the same way I do. I don't want to dress like I'm in my twenties or thirties. I have kids. I have grandkids. That ship has sailed. Um, my body ain't what it used to keeping it real. Um, I've lost weight. I'm still considered plus size. But not only do I have to deal with some of the struggles that plus size women have, but I also have very loose, saggy skin to think about. Um, so I wanted to start a channel and see if I got any interest and if anybody out there was thinking, gee, you know, sure would be nice to see this or somebody who kind of more represented me. You know, I don't wanna dress like I'm 60 by any means, but I uh, just can't pull off some of the trendier fashions and so I'm gonna try a bunch of stuff on, see what you guys think, what you like. Please, if there's anything you would like to see, like to see me try on, please leave uh, me a, leave a message in the comments below. Um, I hope you stick around. I hope you like what you see and hear. And if you do, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. This is me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Yeah. Famous, also famous, number one desirable. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. This is me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. Yeah. All I wanna do is just say. Okay, so here's the first dress, and it's freaking adorable. I. I'm absolutely in love with this dress. Um, it, it makes noise, I'm not gonna lie. And it, uh, it's, it's kind of tight in the bust. Um, I, after struggling for a few minutes, I realized it had a side zipper. That was helpful. Um, the straps are adjustable. So depending on how high you want your, your bust line to be covered or low, you can adjust it. Um, I'm one that usually has straps falling off my shoulders all the time. So I like to cinch it tight. It's a cute midi length. Um, I like, I really like it. I mean, it's it's very wrinkled and honestly, it probably would wrinkle after sitting for a long period of time. No pockets, pockets would put this over the edge for me um, just because the less things I have to carry, the better off. Um, but overall, super cute and I'm loving the color. It's very a much a bright, true cherry red color. Um, give you a look see it's kind of snug in the bust I don't know but I think it's I don't know I think it's slimming I think where it hits at the waistline kind of glides over any problem areas from the side it doesn't accentuate anything I have no buoy so you'll learn um this is just cute I I think this would be adorable to throw I mean you could white sneak uh, I don't know if I do white sneakers because I'm, I'm I love sneakers and dresses um because of the brown buttons, I would probably go with sandals for more casual. Um, sandals, a cardigan, and this is what I'm at. I love this. This is really cute. So, not too bad for uh, outfit number one. Okay, so first, before I finish putting this on, I wanna thank whatever brilliant person came up with the trick to, follow me here, tuck one strap, and I have a strap is brawn, which, I like the worn a regular one, but I have the other strapless outfit. One through the bottom, or through the top, the other side, through the bottom, and it 
covers. So nice, covers your bra. You don't have to worry about anything gaping. Like lean forward and you can see down your whole entire shirt. That was genius. I do not know whoever first came up with that little trick, but that truly is a genius move. So this is the Sarah Ray romper, the cute zebra print. I like it. it see, it, it's giving me the whole like front lucky thing, which I'm not all about, but it's really cute. I like the sleeves. You can see kind of a better look at the sleeves. Um, I don't like bell sleeves if they're long because I'm forever feeling like it's going in my cleat when I'm trying to eat dinner. So I like the length of these because this, this is like doable. Get it close. You can kind of get a close up look. It does show a little skin ish. Um, I also have this thing pulled super tight, so it's actually hiked on one side. But I think the nice thing about this little bra trick too is you can you can leave or show whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so it does. Now let me show you what it would look like if I didn't do the bra trick, and then you'll see how genius this is. Because if I didn't it in my straps or in my strapless bra looks cute right so you bend over and then you're showing everybody your boobs um so again whatever you're comfortable with maybe you want to show people your boobs i don't judge um for me i would tuck it this bothers me like the whole style where you can show your bra straps i just no, I might feel weird if my bra straps are hanging out. It bothers me if I have a razorback tank top on and you can see my bra straps. I also have weird texture issues. Again, weird, awkward, you will learn. Um, but I, I, overall, this is really cute. I mean, it's it's not too, it's not short, like super crazy short. I think it's a good length. Um, I like it. So much you think? I wanted to like this. I really, really, really wanted to like this. This top is cute. It is adorable. It's just not for me. Um, if it was, if it came to my waistline, I'd be okay with it. I love the color. It's a great neutral, and I love like browns and blacks mixed together. I like, uh, I like mixing those two colors. Um, it's just not for me. I'll give you a close up of it. It's like I said, it's a true wrap style top. Scars, surgical scars, scars, scars. I had surgery pretty recently. Pretty traumatic surgery uh, I had to have. And it's not been not five months, so my scars are dirty. But if, if it came to my waistline, especially with these jeans, these jeans are, are really, like, I love the high waist. My belly button is, like, here. So it's a good couple inches above my belly button. I like these, the where these jeans hit me. But this top, then I would even take some double-sided tape um, or like garment tape, dress tape to hold that down, but I just can't get past the length. I would feel self-conscious um, just because of my scars. And, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna be honest and I'm not gonna, you know, I, again, I'm all for body positivity. Everybody has something that they're self-conscious about. For me, it's the scars on my stomach. Um, but, you know, some people don't like shorter shorts. I have cellulite, I could care less. I will let my freaking cellulite fly. Don't feel comfortable with my scars on my stomach. That's just me. So that's it for the top. Um, it feels good, it's soft. Uh, it's not overly buttery soft, but it's not itchy by any means. It feels like it's a good quality, it has good stretch to it. I don't, I'm a 40, well, I'm a 38D probably. Um, haven't bought bras recently, but I don't think, I don't think it would accommodate a larger bust size in the size that I got, which I will list down below. Um, because I think to be able to tie it tight enough to give you this like cinched in look, it would it would cut too low and half your boob would be hanging out. So that's the top. Let's talk about these jeans though. So I'm gonna tuck this under so you can kind of get a better look at the jeans. These jeans have amazing stretch to them. Um, I will say the only complaint I have about these jeans, I, I think the rips are good. It's not too crazy. It's not too, you know, like two little slits, but it's not like your whole front thighs are hanging out. I 
will say the one thing, and I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can get a good look at this. Okay, let's try this. I'm all for the fringe at the bottom, but I think that to me reminds me of a Clydesdale horse with the little like fluffies around the bottom of their feet. And if I kept the jeans, I would probably cut it shorter, but that fringe is pretty, um, that's pretty long. And where it hits me on the ankle, it's just, that's just, I don't know. Again, maybe you're into that. Maybe you like that fringy look, really super distressed. Um, I think it's cute, I like it, but I would trim it shorter. But that's a very easy fix. So all in all, I'll take a look and see how it's fringed. If I am able to cut it, I'll keep the pants. Um, top's going back, being honest, keep it real. Um, they fit me good. Um, I used to call myself growing up, and if my family's watching this, they're gonna laugh because I called myself a potato on sticks because I was always very wide with skinny legs. Now, you know, of course, as you get heavier, your legs kind of get heavier, but um, so usually to fit me in the legs, if it's not baggy in the legs, it's really tight here, and to fit here, it's baggy in the legs. These fit really good. They're not super crazy big in the waist. They're comfortable. Where I don't, if I sit down, it's not gonna feel like it's digging into me. Um, but I don't have like sag ass, too bad. Um, I don't know if after you wore them all day, if they would stretch out, that could happen. I don't know. Um, I can definitely report back because I will, I'll keep these jeans because these are super cute and I love the dark wash. And I'm curious to see if the black is gonna fade. Because like I said, I like dark denim, I like black denim, but I have a hard time with fading and then I just don't like it as much and then I don't wanna wear them. So, we'll let you know overall. I love this, I mean, this outfit's really cute. It fit was just a smidgen longer, but it's just not for me. I hope, hope one of you out there are watching and this is something that you are comfortable wearing, absolutely buy it. It's, it's worth it. It's a good quality. It feels good on, I think it gives that great, like, you know, kind of narrow hourglass illusion, you know, when I say illusion, maybe you are hourglass shaped. I'm not, um, but it gives that illusion uh, of having an hourglass shape, brings your waist in, brings it up higher. So also kind of elongates you, makes you look a little taller. But overall, jeans are score on the top. Sorry, again, top's great, not my style. And this is the last shirt I have. I still have that leopard romper to go. This is cute. Now I put a white cami under it. Um, I mean, you can see how see-through it would be. Even with nude bra under it, I wouldn't feel comfortable. You can see the line where my, I mean, I don't have my tank top tucked in all the way. Um, you can see the line where my jeans are. So it's it's very see-through. Um, but this is cute. I didn't know if I would like it because I'm very wide rib caged. Sometimes it just accentuates that depending on where this elastic hits, but I like this. This is cute. This would be cute for maybe a pair of flares. Some, you know, the whole new style of skinny jeans are out and now everybody has to wear flare jeans or straight legs. That would be really super cute with this top, but I'm loving it with these jeans. I'm okay with skinny jeans. I'm okay with flares, but these with these jeans is super cute. It's kind of a good way to transition from a nice spring top to something a little darker on the bottom. The sleeves have the cute little ruffle. Material feels good. I probably wouldn't dry it. I'm not 100% sure what the material is because again, no tags with composition of the material in it. Um, oh, I lied. Oh, let's see. Machine wash gentle, tumble dry low, 100% polyester, which shouldn't shrink, but I probably would blind dry it anyways. So, but I like how this is sewn as well because even if I didn't have a cami on or if I had something lower cut I just don't want the bagging I think it just looks sloppy but I think this is super cute I didn't think I was gonna like this I've got a mirror here so pardon me while I check myself out this is really really cute on the side sometimes I always worry about looking like I'm pregnant it's like I don't know only when things hit me here because sometimes if it's too tight it does this and then it look like maternity clothes so working on body positivity okay I have terrible hang-ups I'm trying my best I'm hoping that this forum will give me an opportunity to work through some of that with you guys 
So any tips that you have about not giving a crap, please share with me. Uh, overall, back to the outfit. I like it. Okay, last but not least, this is so cute. I love it. It's not too short in the crotch. It's good. I do not have a bra on. Just, you know, so you know, in case I'm looking a little lopsided. Um, but the back ties, um, so you can tie, I'm gonna have to do it myself because I'm by myself. Um, but the back ties to where I think you can, you be able to adjust, adjust it as tight as you want. Um, it's still got some stretch in it, so I don't know if it, how it would fall or not fall. Um, so I would maybe wear a strapless bra with it, but I think this is so cute. I'm all about this. Again, I like to pretend like I'm adventurous in my clothing. I'm not. Um, very much jean shorts and baggy t-shirt. Fit on the bike short, graphic shirt trend. Probably one of the only trends I actually follow. And it's because it's comfortable. Um, but overall, this is really cute. There is elastic. So this, I don't know what this elastic here is for because I feel like it doesn't give you any more room this way, necessarily. I guess maybe if you have a big butt, I don't have a big butt, but there's, this is elastic here, and then there's elastic here. Other than that, there's no stretch to the material, um, and you just, the only way you can adjust the top is to, to tie the top in the, in the back. Uh, good length, it looks a little longer in the back, which I appreciate for big booty girls, um, which again, but overall, this is really cute. So I'm gonna have to decide on this one. I'm on the fence. I think it's a good length for the longer torsoed. I think it would do well for you. Um, but I think this could be paired really nicely. With, like I said, some tights and some boots in the fall with a jean jacket. I think that'd be cute. And eventually I wanna do some videos, styling tips for the over 40. You know, my joke is I might not be the skinniest girl in the room, but I'm gonna be the damn cutest. So. If there's anything you'd like to see styled, anything you wanna see, I might do how to wear a dress four ways, like the same dress, four different looks, um, cause I kinda think that's cool to mix and match. It makes your wardrobe work more for you um, and makes it more versatile. So one staple piece, couple pieces of uh, other accessories or jackets, cardigans, boots, shoes to kind of change up your look. Um, so I'm gonna look into doing that. I'm gonna try to upload videos once a week at least probably depends on how fast I get orders shipped and what the interest actually is, to be honest with you. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for going through this journey with me so I can try to work on my own body positivity and body confidence. Again, trying to not look like I'm, my kids are in their 20s, trying to not look like I'm trying to dress like my, my girls, <clears throat> but try to not like I'm dressing like my grandma. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please, if you've seen anything you're interested in, subscribe, turn your notification on, like videos, all that stuff that you do. If you're watching these videos, you know how to work YouTube. So have a good day.